We're so glad you're joining this week for Hope Today's Prayer Week. All week long, we've been seeking the heart of the Father, crying out for our city, our nation, and our world. And today, we're gonna to take a moment and pray for businesses, the marketplace, our communities, and a mighty move of God to sweep through our land. We know now more than ever before, so many people are hurting, so many people are desperate for answers, so many people need to know who Jesus is. And we are believing in this season that the Holy Spirit's gonna come down and meet the hearts of those that are hungry, those that need to seek Him, those that need healing, those that need deliverance, those that need something new in their lives. Join us today, make your living room, make your bedroom, wherever you're watching, make an altar before the Lord, bow down and pray with us. Hope Today Prayer Week starts right now.
Wow, there is such a sweet spirit here, a, the spirit of God. Thank you for joining us for um, Hope Today's Prayer Week. We've have, been having a fantastic week. I hope you've caught some of the other programs. But today, we're, you know, we've been praying about so many different areas. We've been praying for revival. We've been praying for unity every day. We've been praying for your needs every day. But we've also been praying in those different mountains, those spheres of influence in our society. And today it's mm -hmm. business. So we're going to hear in this segment, I'm here with Buck and Amy Schaefer. And uh, guys, I know you have a heart for business. I know yes. you do. And yes. I know that, that, uh, that this, is a, this is a good day for any day would be a good day for you guys to be here. But especially yes. today, yes. we want to pray in those areas yes. of business, the yes. blessings of God there. And Amy, I'd just like you to start us off. Yeah, you know, it says in Genesis right from the beginning that God blessed them and said, be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, subdue it, using all of the vast resources for service of God and man and take dominion. So Father, I pray right now for businesses, God, that they will take dominion, that they will multiply, that they will subdue the earth, that God, you will bless the men and women in business right now, that this economy me crunch will not touch them, that their businesses have the favor of God. They have the wisdom of God. They have wise strategies from heaven. And Father, I pray even for female led businesses that even as in Luke 8, those women who supported Jesus with their own finances and their own resources. We pray for, for female businesses and entrepreneurs and leaders to go out into culture and to bring heaven to earth in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Right. And you don't have to fear because God said, as you're fruitful and multiply and take dominion, is this last day wealth transfer. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. This is for the last day yes. harvest. And you don't need to draw back or shrink back mm -hmm. for God said, I will prosper everything you put yes. your hand to. Yes. So in the name yes. of Jesus, I thank you in the marketplace, yes. we decree the blessing of God Bless. to overtake you. Yes. And when the wicked don't flourish, the righteous will. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Father, that never have we seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. And as you yes. bless the works of their hand, I thank you, Lord, you are the God that supplies all our needs, mm -hmm. that there won't be fear, anxiety, yes. and stress. Yes. That, Father, they have a wise strategy from heaven right now. And these are not days to go back and sulk That's and be right. stressed. But That's these right. are days to rejoice and pray yes. without yes. ceasing. And always rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. And he said that we should pray without ceasing. And in every situation, no matter what comes your way today, give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Keep that grateful attitude as God prospers your business and everything you set your hand to. I just pray right now, Lord, that the Spirit of God would move. Lord, we've, we've prayed many times for the Spirit of God to move in our, in our churches. But Lord, move in our factories, move in our stores, Lord. Move in, in, in our places of business, our shops, our coffee shops, Lord, our restaurants. Let the move of God take place in every area where your people are, Lord. Let the gospel go forth in those areas, Lord. Let the witness of a, a, of a strong Christian worker go forth in those areas, Father. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would anoint. Lord, it is not for the professional evangelist. It is for all of us to live the life of God in front of our co-workers, Lord. And I pray, Father, that the Spirit of God would anoint everything in the area of business. Bring us revival, Lord, and let it start in the day-to-day -day workings, the day-to-day -day workings of the people of God in their places of employment. Lord, let it be a glorious thing in your name. Amen. And you know what? Continue to pray in these areas and pray with us now. This is not a spectator sport, it is a participatory sport. So be with us. And you know what, before, before we go, any, any, last, any last thoughts, any last things? Just in that business world, in that market realm, God is pouring out His Spirit on all yes. flesh in every area. That's right. Not just in the church, but all over. That's right. I, I can remember my dad leading Bible studies in the steel mills, you know, and yes. people yes. becoming coming Christians because of that. Yes. Be that light. God wants to revive your place of employment today. Yeah.
Well, we're gonna we're gonna be continuing to pray right now. We're gonna go over to Sydney. Thanks, Tom. You know, one thing I just is standing here. God is just reminding me where the Bible says where two or three are gathered that He is in the midst. And there's so many of us gathered here in the studio, so many of you at home, that God is with us, Emmanuel, God with us. And I'm so grateful I'm with here with Pastor Michael Day and Robin Ace. And we're gonna take a moment to pray for community and also for you. So Robin, can you start out? Yes, Jesus, we just thank you and we praise you for our communities, for Pittsburgh, for the surrounding communities, God. And we ask you for great unity in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, Father, that we could have influence in the work places like we prayed and also in each individual community area father in our churches may we bind together father yes. in the unity of love and God may we express Jesus in ways that has never been seen unto revival father Hallelujah. I thank you for each viewer God that is with us this morning and each day throughout each 24 hour day God I pray that you would bless them father in the name of Jesus I thank you that you know every hair on their head yes. you know every concern of their heart God and so I ask ask you, God, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on them, that you would bring deliverance in their life when they are hearing the word of God, that you would bring, that you would lift oppression, and God, that you would bring freedom in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for their financial contributions, God, in the way that they love us in that way here, Father. And God, I just ask you that you'd increase that and that you would just bless your viewers, God, with your blessing, Father, as they give to others. In Jesus' precious name. Father, in Jesus' name, we need you now. We need you in every area of our lives, Lord. First, Father, we pray now that you would touch every community around this region and around this country. Father, you showed us in Acts chapter 2 that all people had all things in common and they gave to each other so much so that, Lord, that the church grew. And so, God, we expect that same power, that same miracle now in Jesus' name. That every person that's under the sound of our voice and under these prayers, that God, by way of your Holy Spirit, you would move in their homes, that you would move in their streets, that violence yeah. would cease now by yeah. the power and the blood of Jesus the Christ. That we come against the spirit of witchcraft yes. and anger yes. and frustration. Yes. We come against the spirit of, of d division yeah. and, and, and uh, racism yeah. and, and, and the, the spirit that's coming against your peace, God. Yeah. You are Jehovah Shalom, the yeah. God of peace. Yeah. And so, God, we release yeah. the peace over your yes. people. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank you, God, that your spirit is bringing revival yes. to the homes first before you bring them yes. to the church house. Hallelujah. That Pentecost yes. was at home. Hallelujah. Yes. Before it happened in the synagogue, yes. before it happened in the worship center. But, God, we thank you, God, that by your spirit, you're sending fire to people's homes. Yes. I thank you, God, that miracles, yes, signs, or wonders are happening for the families yes, across God. this region. Region, across the communities, across the political forces, across all worlds. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, yes, that you are God. getting ready to do miracle signs and yes. wonders. And God, we shall see it in not many days hence. Hallelujah. That this city, this region yes. shall know your name to be great. Hallelujah. And we shall be a testimony of your greatness, of unity. Hallelujah. That common unity shall be our name. Hallelujah. And we give you praise for the signs and the wonders in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We just take a moment, Father God, to reverence you, O God. You are the name. There's no other name above your name, O God. Lord God, you are God over this city. You are God over this nation. You are God over this world, Father God. And in the name of Jesus right now, Father God, we take authority, Father God, that everything that the canker worm and the locust has stolen in these past years, O God. God, I pray, Father God, that you revive us. God, I pray, Lord God, that you restore us, Father God. Yes. God, I pray, Father God, you would yes. revive those marriages. Father God, I pray that you would revive those children. Yes. Father God, we come against the spirit of suicide in yes. the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that you shall live and not die, Father God. God, we pray against the spirit of murder, Father yes. God, that's trying to take people yes. up from the womb and even in life into the tomb, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We cry out, Father God. We bind the spirit of depression, oh yes. God, that people don't know you, oh God. Yes. Lord God, you say that you are near to the yes. brokenhearted, Father God. So Jesus, I pray that you would come in like a rushing wind, oh Holy Spirit, come into the homes, oh God, come into the schools, oh God, come into the businesses, oh God, have your way, oh God. God, we don't want the same 
same old, same old thing, God. Do a new thing, God. You said, behold, I'm doing a new thing, God. Make rivers in the wilderness and roads in the desert, oh God. Let us reverence and fear your name. Let us reverence and fear your name, oh God. Forgive us, God, for not fearing you. Forgive us, God, for not honoring you and respecting you. God, I pray in our homes, it would start there in our communities, that we would make altars in our homes, Father God, that we would bow before you, Father God, that we would cry out to you, Lord God. And Lord God, we would put all of our idols, all of our things at your altar, just let it dissipate and fight away. Just consume us now, oh God. Consume us now, oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we just want to encourage you as you're watching today that we have prayer partners that will pray for you and lift you up. That's why we're here. Hallelujah. That's why we're here. And right now, let's go over to Chris Wu as he continues to lead us in beautiful worship with his violin.
Oh, bless you, Lord, for that beautiful, anointed music. And our prayer is that that music has gone through your whole being, your mind, your spirit, your body, and that it has touched every area in your life. As we continue praying today for unity and revival, especially among our businesses, our marketplaces here in Pittsburgh and beyond. So Kathy Bruni, Bruno and Nisi Dennis is with us today. Kathy, would you like to start? Nisi, you continue and I will end. Thank you, Father, so much for your love. You gave us the best when you sent us Jesus. Yes. yes. In Revelation, yes. it says, we will not forget you. We will hold you in our hearts first place. Be our first love. Yes. Revival must start with our own hearts. Yes, Jesus. Your word also says that those who are on the outside will see us. They'll yes. see you yes. when they see us loving on one another. Yes. Unity must. It's a must thing. It must occur. So that's why our hearts are crying out because we're agreeing with you what you your heart cries out that's for. Right. That's oh, right. Holy Spirit, we need you. We cry out for you, Holy Spirit. You said in Philippians 2, let our joy be unity. Yes. We would love on one another. Yes. Let yes. peace reign yes. in our yes. midst. Yes. Let us agree together. Let us be forbearing, forgiving. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And so, Lord, we just thank you for the opportunity to come to you, Father God, to just remind ourselves, Lord, of your prayer that we would be one, yes. even as you, Father, you, Jesus, and the Father are one. That is truly the Lord's prayer. May there be unity in community, God. We just ask, Lord, that you just remind us, Lord, that you, you declared the name of your church and that your church would be a house of prayer. Yes. And so, God, may we be houses of prayer, individual yes. houses of prayer, yes. corporate houses of prayer, communities of prayer, Father. We're talking less and praying more because our answer is in you, Lord. And so we just thank you, Father God, that you've called us more to just seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, Lord, and to, to hear from heaven. You said you would forgive our land, Father. And so we humble ourselves and we pray today, Lord, and oh, we're just Jesus. asking you to move, God, yes, in yes, your yes. church. This is your church. Yes. We are your people, Father, yes. the sheep of yes. your pasture. And so, Lord, we just honor you today. We lift you high. You said if we would lift you up, that you would draw men, women, boys, and girls unto you, Lord. And so we exalt the name of Jesus. We honor the name of Jesus. We magnify the name of Jesus. We lift you up, oh God. And you said it. It's your name that every knee would bow and, and every tongue would confess that you are absolutely Lord, God. And so we just thank you, Father God, for who you are and how you're moving in this place, Lord, and how you're moving in our homes and in our thank communities you, and in every local church, Father. We thank you for an outpouring of your Holy oh, Spirit beautiful. that will deliver us from and break every yoke and every stronghold, oh, Father, that's keeping us from becoming who you called us to be, Lord. And so we decree, yes. we yes. declare that your church church yes. is rising up, Lord, everywhere your church is rising up, God. It's not a name on a church, but the name of Jesus, Come Lord. On. Your church, it's your people, your sanctuary, Father, dwell there. Be God, be Lord. We just honor you for how you're moving, God, and causing us to become one like you called us to be. Yes. In Jesus' holy name, we pray and give thanks. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. You, we Father. do take a second now to thank even you, praise Jesus. your name and thank you for what hallelujah. you are already doing Lord, all over Jesus. Pittsburgh, all over the uh, surrounding areas and in Philadelphia and all the other counties hallelujah. that are surrounding us. Yes. Lord God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. And Father, we know that we can speak to these mountains yes, yes. Of, of disagreement among the nations, yes. disagreement among the city folk, yes. a disagreement and anti-feelings, uh, yes. culturally speaking. Lord God, we come to you and have mercy on us, please, Lord God, and show us the way to walk. Show us the way to give love into the hardest, worst situations. Now, uh, Lord, it's speaking to my heart right now, saying here, um, there's a gentleman watching. His name is, your name is Philip. Mm. 
everybody calls you Junior. This is what the Lord's telling me. Junior, the Lord has a call on your life. You have a new business, but the Lord is blessing the work of your hands. You're trying to put into operation some new things. And the Lord is saying to you, Junior, get to work. Be brave, be courageous, and stand up for me. And I will do what you want me to do. Trust me, lean on me. Amen. Okay, Philip, that was for you. And now we just thank you, Lord God, for the prayers that we just prayed. And now we're going to throw over to Tom. You know, guys, as we're finishing up here, we just have a few seconds left. I, I feel to read this. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the yes. afflicted. He has sent mm -hmm. me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and freedom to the prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. That is for you. That is for our nation. Buck, will you just pray 30 seconds? Just pray us out here, brother. Yes, Father, I thank you so much for this year. No matter what we see in the darkness, we thank you your light is rising up and the yes. glory of the Lord shall be seen on us, your church. Father, I thank you so much for what you're doing in the earth. You're pouring out your spirit upon all flesh and we don't have to have a spirit of fear, but a power, love and a sound mind because God's got you, he's for you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? He's on your side. Can you imagine tens of thousands of people from all across the city coming together simply to pray? Every generation has an opportunity to witness the goodness of God filling their city. Our generation right now is desperate for something good. We're desperate for unity. We want everyone to have the opportunity to witness God, to witness His glory being made real amongst us. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.